For over 50 years, Canada has been a world leader in the production of medical isotopes. We have a global demand for isotopes that is going to more than double by 2030. The world needs more Canada to produce medical isotopes, to fight cancer, and to give people hope. Thank you very much for joining us today on our Isotopes for Hope podcast. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Nuclear isn't just about clean energy. It's also about saving people's lives. Well, your pharmaceuticals are superior to the drugs that have been in the market before. Millions of patients will benefit from these therapies. There's very specific attributes to cobalt-60 that no other technology can do. We're going to see more cancers, more hard to treat cancers that are treatable with radiopharmaceuticals. The need for cobalt production is going to increase over the next several years at a rate of three to six percent. We have a duty and an obligation to continue to evolve our capabilities to remain a global leader in this field. And we can see a market that's maybe a, you know, a billion dollars today expand to you know, 10, 20, 30 billion dollars. We're able to make isotopes now in a whole different range of capacity than was ever imagined, you know, decades ago. We want to keep advocating for increased funding and infrastructure, for research, for diagnostic tools and treatment. We have a, a leadership role to play in providing isotopes to the world and making sure that patients, you know, have a chance to fight cancer. 